Hello everyone, it's Koneko here and today's video is going to be all about my new Google Pixel 2 phone. Before we get into the video, if you are new here and haven't already, please consider becoming part of this magical and pastel online family by clicking the subscription button below. My husband and I grabbed the new Google Pixel 2 phone um, during the Boxing Day sales. I had it in my what I got for the Boxing Day sales video and since then I've been posting pictures using the camera on this and I've had some questions of what is your phone? What's the camera quality like? The overall usage of it? How are you liking it? Is it any good? And all of that and I asked on Twitter and maybe Instagram if I should make a video about my new phone and most people said yes. So that's what today's video is going to be about. So I'm just going to take off the case to show the phone without a case on it and I grabbed the white version and my husband grabbed it in black and here is what the camera features look like the flashlight gets used here as well and this is for like fingerprint I believe I don't have that feature on right now and then it's a Google phone on the side it has the standard like turn you can like press it to turn it on and off and then the volume and then on the bottom it has a spot to charge your phone and that is it so this phone doesn't have a headphone area a headphone jack but it does come with um, several pieces that I will get to in a second so that you can use headphones that plug in or you can do the option of Bluetooth. Currently the background of my phone, I'll turn up the brightness here, um, is Harry Potter themed. There is a key and it says Alohomora which is the spell to unlock and it's swipe up to unlock which was different than my previous phone which I want to do a comparison after I talk about this phone a little bit and the main background is just the Hogwarts Hall with all the hanging candles and like in the very background you can kind of see like Dumbledore and the teachers and stuff but little Potterhead theme for you there and my first case that I got for it I got online there's not very many but I did find a few cute ones including the Sailor Moon one and I have a Hello Kitty one on the way as well and I'll update with like posts and whatnot when that does come in and on to the box that it came in and what came with it so here are two little toggle things I was talking about. This is the adapter for the headset. So you just plug it into where it charges and then you can plug in your headphones. Or again, if you happen to have Bluetooth headset, then you don't need this at all. I don't often use my phone for music personally. I mainly use it for photos. So I went with a good camera quality but the next thing is this adapter that again you plug in here and it's USB so if you have USB to USB USB to whatever to plug into something then there's an extra port for you there and of course it came with a charging cord that is quite long and the end bit to plug it into the wall and I love how it's all white and clean and new um, I don't know why cords get dirty so easily and worn out but maybe this cord is different it's my first time with Google Pixel so and of course like the rest in the box is just like the sim card and the like booklet for the information about 
the phone, which I'm not gonna go super into detail. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail on like specs and techie stuff. I'll try to leave a link or two in the description so you can kind of look at that yourself. I don't really think I'm very good at explaining techie aspects of things. I'm not very tech savvy. That's my husband. <laughs> That's what he does. I'm just gonna kind of go over like things that I like and don't like and show some examples of like the quality of photos that I've been getting from it. So up until now, I have had an iPhone. I am pretty sure that the only other smartphone I've had has been the iPhone 4S and then the iPhone 6S. My first phone was a flip razor and then I believe my next phone was, it was like you slid it up for the keyboard and it was quite chunky. I don't remember what it was called. I think it was like a Samsung phone or something though. Um, and when my sister was getting rid of her iPhone 4S, I quickly changed over and I think I might have dropped my other phone in water. Um, so I needed a new phone and that was kind of a quick fix and then I had that for a few years and then I upgraded about a year or two ago to the iPhone 6s which I absolutely loved for the longest time but my old phone was 16 gigabytes and it was getting filled up so fast I didn't have any music on it it was just full of pictures and like apps and stuff that I use for editing pictures and like social media apps and I would have like a game or two like Pokemon Go and it would just like take up all the space and my new phone is 64 gigabytes and I do try to keep on top of stuff instead of letting my device get so boggled down with stuff but it is nice to have a lot of space and not always get a message being like your storage is almost full that <laughs> that was pretty annoying and um my iphone 6s like the camera on it is nothing compared to this one and the camera is one of the main things as well as the space available for why i made the switch as well as I was starting to get a lot of recent issues with my phone, it was like, I don't know the facts behind this, but with the new iPhones coming out and mine just getting older and older, it just wasn't really working like it used to. It was a lot slower. I was having so many like internet connectivity issues that my husband was like, why don't we look at new phones? He was due for a new phone as well. And he did some research and this phone came up for one of the higher quality for photos and he knows that's mainly what I do. So we went in to Best Buy and talked to them a bit more about it and looked at it and signed up for two new phones. My husband also prefers like Google Android over Apple, like, yeah, no, he doesn't like Apple, Macs, all that stuff at all. So making the switch over, even though there's a lot that I didn't know or still don't know how to work on this phone, he has had a Google phone before, he's had Android phones and stuff before. So he's able to kind of be like, oh, it's probably just you do this or like he could figure it out quite quickly. And this gave me a chance to get away from the iPhones and try something new. And I am loving it a lot. I have a small list of likes and dislikes. I don't necessarily hate anything about the phone. Like I might hate it in the moment of being frustrated but then it's like kind of all right or like especially if I know how to like quickly fix it then it's whatever but for my like I have amazing camera quality I really do love the camera quality is it perfect or always perfect or like 
always top notch not necessarily and a lot of that has to do with the lighting in these rooms um or like you know natural light versus like my studio lights and different stuff like that um and there could be extra settings that i'm just not yet sure how to change for the camera but there are a lot of editing options just on the camera itself in like cute little like stickers and like you can have a porg running around your room yes <laughs> way more space it's that's a huge one there is 64 gigabytes of space which is quite a bit more than 16 from my old phone, so I am loving the space. I love the size of it, um, the look and feel. It's only a tad bigger than my iPhone, like a tad longer, I think, than my iPhone 6s. And I'm glad that I went with white, especially like with cases like this where it doesn't necessarily cover everything. There's a bit of the case poking out here and there, but it's like it's still white, which is the background of this case, so it blends nicely. I just, I really prefer that. Dislikes. I have, <laughs> the main thing I have on here is just like there's so much that I don't know how to do the thing. Um, so many different little things and I don't think that's a huge issue but it is something that I don't like. I'm so used to going from iPhone to iPhone like I mean I only made the transfer once but it's just something to get used to and I don't like the photo organization really on it like it keeps creating albums on its own. I need to see if I can stop it from doing that like there's already an Instagram album and then like it'll create another one and I'm just like just put them together and then it'll create like personalized albums for me like look at what we did and I'm like stop phone like stop having a mind of your own <laughs> a little bit creepy anyways and for some people the lack of the plug-in for the earbuds, I could see how that would be annoying that there's another little piece you have to carry around in your pocket, in your bag, in your car. I don't really care about that. I don't have any music yet on my phone. I might not put music on my phone when I watch videos and stuff. I just play it. So this phone is quite different than what I'm used to. I find that a lot of times when I am typing something, especially on Instagram, it's like I'm going too fast for it and I think I'm clicking just the letters and then it like it, it's like it stops for a second and then it'll go to something else and then I just have to go back but I like I still need to kind of sit down with my husband and be like, why is it doing this? Is it is it okay? Is it just it can't handle my like speedy typing? I would also like to show a little bit of what's on my new phone and kind of what I've been playing around with, especially for photos since that's mainly what I use it for and kind of maybe better explain by showing the like photo organization. So here on my phone I have my different social media, my editors, Books, love Nikki. This is um, just photo stuff like my photo album and then my snow app. And then this I labeled as work. It's Patreon, YouTube, and Twitch. And then there's the regular YouTube icon here. So again, I just have these in there. So under photos, I was taking some pictures of a plushie that I have, but if you go to albums, you can see like downloads, screenshots, Instagram, camera, other photos, that's fine, but I'm just like, this was a screenshot, so I don't know why it's there. And this isn't too bad, I usually get rid of any like double stuff, but over here, assistant, I don't really know what this is and usually whenever it creates like its own album of my pictures I just exit out and delete it but I'm not quite sure why it does that and 
so yeah, I don't really have too much on my phone right now. These are the main editors I work with. I used to use PixArt all the time for my video thumbnails, but I've been using something else on the computer. So I don't know if it's worth keeping that, but I have it on there because I've got the space for it. <laughs> and then line camera is how I make my collages where I just have my two photos side by side. And there's just this back button here, this one for what you have open, and that's your home button there. This is, beauty cam is what I use just for its pastel filter. And I have Audible, Amazon, Kindle, and Goodreads because I've been getting into reading a lot more recently. And again, my Snow app for its filters. And love Nikki. I'm not very far in there. And then you just swipe up for all this extra stuff. And swipe down for all of these settings here. So I am using natural lighting right now. And I am just going to take some photos um, in natural lighting with like the front camera and the back camera to show what those look like and I often use filters so I'll put in like one or two of the camera quality with like a filter so it will look a little bit different obviously and so this is one that I just took right now with natural lighting and just like the the selfie camera <laughs> and I am going to take one this way, but I'll use like the camera to see what I'm doing. Oh look, there's a cat. Hi. Oh, the cat's in my way. I personally really like both cameras. Um, the front one here is a lot better most of the time. A lot of times pictures that I try to take both ways look super similar so it's hard to really tell. That's all I'm gonna share with you today but if you have any questions at all about anything that has to do with my phone, stuff that's on my phone, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to it. If I didn't explain something clearly or just forgot something completely, let me know down below. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up so that I know that you liked it. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!